God needs you to bring your focus back to him. You don't need to focus on the stresses of this life, the worldly ambitions that you have, the school, the work, no matter what it is, the relationships. God needs you to stop focusing on those things and start to focus on him. And I know many times it's hard when we're going through so much stuff, when we have so many things in our life, but we have to learn to balance because that is what life is all about. It's about balancing time with our relationship, balancing time with God, balancing time with the things that we want to do, having fun. Balancing doesn't always mean splitting time evenly because there may be seasons where you're spending more time than God than usual because you have more time. Or there may be a season where you're serving God so much so you may have less private time with God. But there always have to be a balance and you have to always make sure that you're staying focused on God. Because if you're not focused on God, that's when you stop seeking the kingdom first and all its righteousness. And then God can't add everything else on to you. And that's why in this video, I'll be telling you how you can balance your time with God and the things of this world, even if you are super busy. I'm going to start this off by telling y'all that I used to be busy myself. I used to be so busy to the point where I used to make the excuse of I can't spend time with God. I can't focus on God because I have too much things around me. I used to be so busy because I was a basketball player and I was in school and I was focusing on what I wanted to do after college. So I was getting jobs and starting businesses. With all of that stress and anxiety, all these events that are happening in my life, I decided not to read the word in the morning. I decided not to read the word at night. I stopped praying as much. I still did pray some, but the prayers weren't at fervent. I found myself saying the same prayers over and over and over again with no meaning behind them. And even when I tried reading the Bible, I couldn't even read it because there's so much going on in my mind. The anxiety to school, the worry of my future, the worry about how I'm going to do in practice the next day. It got to the point where I just was praying and reading the Bible as a chore so that after I could just watch entertainment, I can scroll on TikTok so my mind doesn't have to think. And when I was doing that, it led me to a lot more stress when it came to being in school, being in basketball, and even starting businesses. I had so much anxiety not knowing what I wanted to do after high school, not knowing if I was going to be good enough in school, pass my test, you know, do good in my basketball season. And so that's why once I graduated, I really started focusing on my relationship with Christ. And that's when he started giving me the peace that I needed. It's no longer that I run to entertainment to get my mind off things. I ran to God. I started reading the word. I started taking all my anxieties onto him, my stresses onto him. And that is the first thing that you need to do when you are wanting to focus on God. more. When you have all these things in your mind, you need to take it on to God. Because the word actually says, cast your cares on to God because he cares for you. God cares for you. He He's your friend. He wants you to run to him so he can take care of everything. He can take that burden off your shoulder and so that you can just focus on the word and so you can seek him and he can give you everything that you need and want. And you cast your cares up on a guy by just basically ranting to someone. You ever met that friend or maybe you're that friend that just rants to the friend, just ha once needs someone to talk to? Well, you can do that with God. You can go to the secret place. You can even do it in your car. Just be like, God, what's up? I got so much things that I'm worried about. I have this basketball tournament that I'm, I I need to do good in. Lord, can you give me the strength? What do I need to do to prepare for this? And just cast all your cares on the God. And once you do that, that's when you start to build that relationship with God. Because you get through that trials and trial and tribulation with God. That's all God wants from you. He just wants you to trust him and you just put in the work. You not focus on none of this stuff. You don't stress about none of this stuff, but you just focus on God. So you're not thinking about lust in class no more. You're now thinking about God in class, thinking about how you're gonna talk to God after school or get in the private place so you can talk to God. And once you make that choice to run to God and talk to God when you're feeling anxious or something, that's when you will start to focus more and he'll get rid of those distractions that are causing you to not be able to focus in the word and focus on prayer. Another way that you can focus on God and get rid of those distractions is by getting in a place where it is private. And I talked about this in my testimony where you need to go somewhere private. That could be the woods. That could be the wilderness, go on the walk in a park. That could be in your car. But you need to go to a place where it's alone because that can be your secret place. It actually says this in a word that you need to go in private in order to speak to God. It says, go to your father who is in secret. 
not in private, not in front of people. Pray in secret so that you can clear your mind. It's basically like meditation. When you meditate, you go somewhere where you just sit. You can sit and relax and you can clear your mind off of everything. Well, when you're deeply in prayer, that's what you need to do. You need to meditate on God. Meditate on God's word. And you can do this before school, before you're going off anywhere. This could be the first thing you do. Just wake up, go on a run, go on a walk, and just talk to God. Go get in your word. And the morning is the best time to do this because that's when your mind is not on anything. That's when you can ask God to talk to you and guide you through the day. That's where you can pray to God and ask God to make this a great day, a productive day. And when you do that every single day, that's when you can really start building that intimacy with God. And you can see that Jesus was waking up early, early mornings to go up and spend time with God and pray. And so we need to do the same thing and follow his example. Another way that you can really start to focus more is by making that sacrifice and cutting off unnecessary distractions. And by unnecessary distractions, I mean by like friends that may be causing you to stray away from God. I mean, scrolling on social media all day. I'm not saying cut off your job, cut off, you know, your relationship, unless that relationship is determining your walk with Christ and you just can't focus on the Lord. I'm not saying cut off your job, but I'm saying cut off the unnecessary distractions so you can focus, use that, use that time to focus on God. Because if you don't cut those distractions off, whatever it is, then that distraction is going to continue to be in your head when you're trying to read the word, when you're trying to focus on the word and focus in prayer. And if you're struggling with something like scrolling on TikTok all day, then your attention span is going to be really low. So when you try to read the Bible, you're going to want things to happen so fast and you're not going to be able to pay attention for long periods of time. And that's why if you are struggling with scrolling on social media all day, you may need to take a fast from it, especially if you can't focus in the word. So if you have any unnecessary distractions that are causing you to deter away from Christ, then you need to cut it off because your relationship with Christ is the most important thing that you can have in this life. Lastly, you need to pray against all distractions that are coming against you while you are praying, while you are reading your word, because you could be struggling with something like lust or drugs. You just have that temptation just bother you in your head or an intrusive thought coming in as soon as you try to read the word if you don't pray. And those are attacks from the enemy to get you to stop reading the word, to get you to stop thinking about God when you're praying. Because he knows as soon as you really start to focus on the word and praying, then not only will you be used by God, but your prayers will be way more powerful when you're trying to save somebody, when you're trying to save a family member or a friend. Because God wishes none would perish and the devil wish all would perish. So he will do anything he can. If you try to save a soul, if you do what God is calling you to do, then you will be saving souls. And the devil doesn't want you to do that. And the best way he can keep you from getting that relationship with Christ is by putting distractions in your face, whether that be relationships, whether that be TikTok, scrolling on social media, whether that be the worries of this life. And so that's why you have to seek God first and focus on God and pray against those spirits that are keeping you away from your relationship with Christ. So yes, these are the four things that you need to do in order to focus in this relationship with Christ. You need to apply these, especially if you are struggling with focusing while praying or reading your word. Because I know you probably want to be used by God, but it's so hard when you have all these things around you. And that's why it's so important that you balance everything out. And when I say balance, I don't mean spend the whole day with God and forget about school and forget about your job. I mean, balance as in you need to spend enough time with God to the point where you're able to focus in your word, where you're able to pray without getting distracted, where you're able to hear God's voice, where you're able to stay away from temptations and overcome temptations. You need to be able to balance those things so that you can spend quality time with God because that is the purpose of this life is to get a relationship with God. So make sure that you are applying these four things to your life so that you can have a more focused relationship with God and so he can really start to bless you. I hope this video edified you in some way, shape, or form. I appreciate all y'all for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. So as usual, I'll stay blessed.